Okay, so what you're looking at now is a, a little sort of tip video on how to give your uh, overall lead tone a little bit of um, depth and space. So what I'm doing is I'm running two delays uh, in the same path side by side. I've got a simple delay uh, which I'm going to put on first and then I'll put the vintage delay on after it and show you how the two combined kind of really give a lot of space. So first of all this is just the dry path. Nothing there at all. Okay so if I activate the first simple delay Okay, I've got the uh, the milliseconds down to about 150. Normally, anywhere between 150 and maybe 140 is, is enough for that 20% mix, uh, and anywhere between 18 and 22% feedback. Okay, and it gives you this. So already it's given that sort of uh, false appearance of you know a massive massive sound real quick so I believe if you listen on something like uh, ACDC's Back in Black you can hear this trick uh, being used in the studio it's not a huge amount of delay but I do believe that this old sort of trick was, was done on that Okay, so the second delay is the vintage delay. This one's obviously got a lot more going on with it. Uh, I've got it on dotted eight, forty percent feedback, and mix is about thirty-one percent. And when you combine the two, Don't really get in the way of each other either it's it's you know it's 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 pleasant i think so if i put the minotaur on as well just to get an overall sort of lead tone And then if I turn the vintage off. The thing with this trick is, is that you tend to find that when the simple delay, which I've just turned off now, isn't there, you really do notice. That's with it gone. And then with it back on. And again with the vintage delay on. Okay, so try that and uh, let me know how you get on. So there's your settings for the simple delay, 150 milliseconds. You can lower that a little bit if you want. Uh, anywhere between 18 and 22% feedback, 20% mix, and the vintage delay is just there as well. 31% mix, 40% feedback, and I've got that on uh, dotted eight. So there you go.